At a time when we've heard about nothing but strained police relations with the community, an event today to highlight young leaders and their bond with officers. CBS 58's Jocelyn Pruna joins us live in the newsroom with that story. Jocelyn. Michelle, it stands for Students Talking It Over with Police or the STOP program in Milwaukee. And since the program started in 2010, close to 1,700 students have graduated. It was a party atmosphere inside the Panther Arena. Oh, I really didn't like them. But these students mean serious business. You never really got a good perception of police, no matter what part of the city you're from. That view did a 180 because of the stop program. Oh, I love them. They're cool. You, you get to see a whole other side of them. It's like human, too, so you can't just be quick to point the finger all the time. Officer Moody, Officer Taylor. 11th grader Imani Ortiz was recognized for her leadership in the stop program. $1,000 and an iPad. The program is uh, really inspiring. Uh, it helps uh, young leaders be recognized. Milwaukee police officers go into 74 schools and meet with teens. I was like kind of nervous to, you know, to go into the program because I was kind of afraid of the police because of the things that have been going on. But I learned it's a lot of poli actually good police officers out there. It builds better relationships between officers and students. We have a subset of young people that engage in criminal activity just as we have a subset of adults that do but the overwhelming majority of our young folks are triumphing over adversity and are going to go on to lead productive lives and we're glad to be a part of their development it changes perception one teen at a time definitely changing this young lady's image of the men and women in uniform tuition's coming uh, <laughs> college is coming so gotta be prepared for that Imani plans to study criminal psychology. And by the way, this program has won national awards. And according to the department, the STOP program will expand to the Racine School District. Live in the newsroom, Jocelyn Pruna, CBS 58 News. Very good, Jocelyn. Thank you. Well, the booming commercial stretch.